Bioinformatics for Next Generation Sequencing is a hybrid training program on bioinformatics launched in collaboration between MIT University Kolkata and Pine Biotech. The program is designed for students, faculty and researchers who are interested in learning about data-driven research in life sciences. This program will start on January 2020 and will be focused on data science skills and machine learning methods in application to the analysis of next generation sequencing data. In this three-month course, we will discuss various aspects of NGS data generation and how the field of bioinformatics has evolved to handle such big biomedical data. The year 2020 marks 70 years since the discovery of the structure and the function of the DNA molecule. It took almost 50 years from that time to sequence the first human genome. But soon after that, the technology developed at that time started evolving rapidly. By 2015, the 1000 Genome Project brought a significant number of whole genome sequences to the research community. And in 2018, over 100,000 whole genomes were sequenced. Today, there's an ever increasing number of genomic, transcriptomic, proteomic, and metagenomic data sets available that describes subcellular processes with highly detailed digital data. NGS technologies are used to explore the roles, relationships, and the actions of various types of molecules that make up the cell of an organism. Many types of omics data can be generated using NGS or what is also known as high throughput sequencing. The data can show detailed information about genomic variants, epigenetic regulations, as well as gene and isoform expression. Our first meeting on the 13th will be an introductory and an interactive meeting where we will also discuss the overview of the entire program followed by a Q&A session. In this session, we will introduce the participants to the omics logic resources. These include the educational portal and the big data bioinformatics platform developed at Topper Bioinformatics Research Center. This program will cover the analysis of gene expression data with practical sessions and online tutorials. Anyone with a basic knowledge of cell and molecular biology will be able to conceptually understand as well as practically apply standard data analysis tools to analyze, process, interpret complex transcriptomics data. Every participant will have a personal dashboard where they can see their own progress, score points and get international certification upon the completion of the program. On January 20th, we will learn about next generation sequencing data and the need for pre-processing, mapping and quantification. To see how these methods are used in real RNA-seq studies, we will practice running such pipelines on the tbioinfo platform. The platform is a color coded and has pop-ups with detailed information about each analysis step to help you establish a logical connection between theoretical aspects of data analysis methods and the practical steps needed to achieve a biologically interpretable result. In the next session, we will be learning about statistical analysis used to study processed RNA-seq data. We will see how exploring the gene expression table and understanding its properties can help us spot technical variations that can have unwanted effect on our analysis. We will discuss how we can compare group of samples that represent different conditions and learn about differential gene expression, t-test and regression. On the 30th of January, we will meet for a hands-on workshop at MIT University Kolkata. There we will go through the topics we covered in the previous sessions and review student and faculty bioinformatics projects. The next session will be about exploratory data analysis. Oftentimes, statistical tests do not capture the granularity of expression data in a given dataset. To learn about methods that can handle complexity that is typical for large omics datasets, we have to learn about additional methods of dimensionality reduction, data mining, and classification. In the next class, we'll be going through data mining techniques, in this online program, we will learn about other methods including various approaches to do clustering, network analysis that can be used to mine rich transcriptomics data for meaningful patterns. 
Once we learn about these data mining techniques and explore various patterns that seems meaningful, we can train a machine learning model that will classify new samples into different patterns. In this part of the program, we will learn about discriminant analysis and classification including LDA, support vector machines and decision trees. But ultimately, we will try to connect the data with biology. How can these genes, isoforms or their expression levels help explain the mechanism of action, explain the process of deregulation of vital cellular pathways or provide indication that a gene or a protein can be considered as a target for a drug. For example, we will learn to utilize gene set enrichment analysis to find pathways or genes enriched with up or down regulated genes of interest. These methods are not always used in smaller research projects, however, they have important application in pharma, biotech, R&D as well as clinical applications. Mastering these techniques will help you understand biomarker discovery and patient stratification, both of which use predictive modeling and feature selection. On the 20th of February, after a week, we have our second online workshop where we will review the topics covered before and we will also have group presentations and discussions on various research, research topics. We will also learn about the impact of feature selection on interpretation of a condition sampled from various datasets. Finally, we will start working on new bioinformatics project starting 27th of February. This program will include a number of research projects you can join ranging from biomedical to agrobiological studies. Students and faculty from MIT University came up with these and collected the data that is already ready for analysis. Together, we will continue to work on thesis projects and learn about research collaborations during this three-month program. These projects will help you understand important research problems and the way you can use data analysis to derive meaningful insights. Like many of our Past participants, participants of Bioinformatics for NGS will get an opportunity to present their analysis in front of their classmates and peers. Pine Biotech Bioinformatics programs have been highly recommended by our previous participants. Together, we are building a bioinformatics community that works to address cutting-edge research problems using bioinformatics. Please find all the important links related to this program below.